Ian and Kenny have no idea how their dishes have been received. Time to reveal the two menus. Mm. Oh, I'm rather pleased about that. Well. Our judges still don't know which chef cooked which menu. Will they be gunning for Ian's simple, homely menu with a modern twist using classic tried and tested flavours to evoke childhood favourites? Or will they salute Kenny and his technically ambitious, playful menu that puts his own unique spin on the tastes and culinary traditions of the Northeast? Two clearly contrasting menus, and the judges won't know whose is whose until they've chosen their favourite. One is actually more homely. Yes. The other one is much more celebratory. So, Prue, have you made up your mind? I have. And Matthew? Oliver, I have. And so have I. So let's put them out of the misery and get the chefs in. Good luck, Chief. Yeah, you too, mate. May the best man win. With the northeast heats complete, it's time for the chefs to find out their fate. Hello, chefs. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. You're feeling stressed? Last time I was this stressed, I was getting married. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be ever quicker than that. We have had an amazing experience. But as you know, this is a competition, and only one of you can go forward. And we have made a decision, so let's find out what that is. Prue? Well, I've decided on menu B. Menu B. Matthew? Menu B. And I have also gone for menu B, so it's a unanimous decision. So let's find out who menu B is. <laughs> The chef going forward to represent the Northeast in the final of the Great British Menu is... <laughs> Kenny Atkinson. Well done. Fantastic, Kenny. Well done, mate. Well done. It, it was a remarkable menu. I'm not saying it was a perfect menu, but I think there was a sort of rhythm between each dishes and a sort of arc that went through the entire meal. And there's a great sense of restraint, great sense of elegance, I think. And some wit. I loved the strawberry journey, ending with a chilli kick. Ian, I thought the beef on your dish was some of the best beef I've ever eaten. It was really beautiful, really soft. Lovely. And also, we really liked the ham hock as well. So you had two very, very good dishes there. But unfortunately, I think your pudding really let you down. So tell us, Kenny, how do you feel about it? I'm very excited. Um, it was my target to get in the final. Obviously, I've got family in the forces, so it was a pride thing for me. Uh, so now I've got the opportunity of, of doing that now. We thought that menu was geared towards a celebration for returning troops, and you know, that really thoroughly came across. An absolutely excellent experience. We look forward to seeing you in the final. Yeah, well likewise. Done. Thank you. Thank Take you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Marcus. Obviously, commiserations to Ian. Unfortunately, there has to be a loser. But um, well done, Kenny. He really did put his heart and soul into that cookery.